dear students, it is a pleasure to celebrate your success at this recognition ceremony today. Without a doubt, this has been the most unusual year, one we couldn't have imagined beforehand. Ames has changed so much, and we are proud and pleased to have still been able to offer a successful program. Many people have contributed to make this possible. Our academic director, Simokai, the tutors, the lecturers, the staff at Ames. Most of all, you, our 2020-21 group of students worked together with self-discipline and academic maturity to success successfully complete the master's program. You have missed the special benefit of lecturers on site to talk to, share meals with, and gain experience from. However, as happens at Ames each year, you grew to become part of the Ames family, which will be of great value to you in the future, we believe. Online courses are the way of life. And fortunately, our excellent group of tutors, as well as Jan and our IT team, were there to support you. Lecturers and supervisors supported you too. Sometimes at strange times because they are teaching from back home in different time zones. Your projects were most interesting and and introduced you to special new areas of work and research. It is a pleasure to congratulate you and to wish you all the best for the year ahead once you've left Ames. Congratulations, we are proud of you. Congratulations to the 2020-21 Structured Master's students at Ames South Africa. The year began in November 2020 when most students were able to travel into Ames. Courses were held online. The 2021 intake joined in March, as well as three students doing the Biomathematics Honours Programme at Stellenbosch University, who do part of their programme at Ames. The programme is in three phases, and you completed skills and elective courses, and a project phase. Skills courses included Python programming, which was given by Dr. Paul Taylor and Nafisata Puyo, concepts and problem solving in physics with Professor David Ashman, and mathematical problem solving with Dr. Eric Andriantiana. Electives included Analytical Techniques in Mathematical Biology, lectured this year by Dr. Lindsay Kerr, Biophysics, given by Professor Daiska Takagi, and a course on the Geometry of Maxwell's Equations, given by Professor Tevin Dre and Professor Corinne Minogue. Machine Learning and Financial Mathematics remained popular areas for projects, and there were a number of topical projects on epidemiology, as well as projects on natural language processing, quantum computing, matrix rings, and mark of blankets applied to corn production. The academic program always includes talks by researchers and specialists in their fields. One highlight this year was a talk by Professor Federico Ardila entitled Mathematical Polyrhythm, The Power of Many Points of View. The talk spanned mathematics and music and formed part of International Mathematics Day activities at Ames. Opportunities during the year included a range of talks and events organized by Dr. Rejoice Gavi Molefe, manager for the Ames House of Science. And the Industry Initiative Program, run by Dr. David Achapo, involved selected candidates from across a number of centers. All departments at Ames have contributed to your program, including IT, operations, facilities, the admin office, communications and media, and the research center. In a year of online courses, the IT department's role was central to the program being able to run, with lecturers online in different countries and time zones. In your AIMS program and your interactions at AIMS, you've benefited greatly from the team of tutors who play an important role in delivery of the academic program. This year's tutors have been Alice Nanyanzi, the head tutor, Dr. Dina Ranarina, Epifania Geza, the biomaths tutor, Dr. Farah Niena Rasilafosun, Karamato Jenabu, Kendall Bourne, Dr. Oluwashan Francis Igbeloo, and Dr. Sean de Cravalho. Many supporters have contributed to your academic program, lecturers, supervisors, examiners, speakers, partner universities, funders, and the AIMS network, amongst many others. And you have been supported and encouraged also by family and friends. Thanks and congratulations are due to all of these supporters. As you set forth from Ames, we wish you well. And I'd also like to congratulate you for your adaptability and flexibility in a learning environment that was of necessity different from the usual setup where everyone would have interacted on site. Congratulations, you've all done so well. And we look forward to your continued involvement with Ames as you take your next career steps. Congratulations.
Greetings and congratulations Ames graduates from the University of the Western Cape. For those of you who don't know me, my name is David Holgate. I sit on the Ames Council and I'm one of the Deputy Deans of the Faculty of Science at UWC. Some of you will be graduating with certificates from our university and we're very proud of you, but of course we're proud of everyone's achievements and as a university it's a real privilege to be part of Ames and everything that happens at Ames and the graduates that we have across the continent. Ames graduation is always a highlight of the year, not just because we celebrate your success as graduates, but it's also a celebration of the Ames vision, the vision to build a network of mathematical minds across the continent and to provide hope through education. Ames graduates have an exciting future and being at Ames is more than gaining a qualification. It's a life-changing experience, as I'm sure you'll know. So this year, the experience has been somewhat different. It must have been challenging to participate through video screen and have to keep your distance from each other and from your lecturers. But change and difficulty always bring opportunity. And opportunity is what AIMS is all about. So I do hope that the privilege that you've had of a different AIMS experience will actually empower you to make an even more innovative contribution to our continent's future. Also, I trust that you'll have learned new ways of building relationships and networks that will allow the AIMS vision to spread even more effectively. So, all good wishes for you as you take the next step. Hopefully, for some of you, that step may be to come and study further at the University of the Western Cape. But most importantly, I trust that it's a step that will take you to a new stage of personal growth and a step that allows you to share the power of mathematics with the world. So congratulations, go well, travel safely, and keep safe. Bye-bye. To all the candidates who have completed their courses at the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, well done for achieving something extraordinary. You've made your family and friends proud. Last year, virtual ceremonies like this were still a novelty. Now we've become accustomed to seeing each other on screen. We've had to adapt to new ways of learning and teaching and the fact that you're here today means that you've risen to face these challenges and you've conquered them. The specific skills you've acquired at the Institute during your time of study is now needed more than ever, especially in Africa. It is estimated that Africa will be home to 40% of the world's youth 18 and under by 2050. So our continent is undergoing unprecedented transformation and growth. Therefore, investing in mathematical sciences is critical to driving Africa's development forward. You are now part of that drive. The establishment of AIMS was an investment in not just the future of the African continent, but also the world. And it wasn't just an investment in a business or an institution. It was an investment in people. People like you, who can use their skills to advance society, set an example, and make a positive impact. Remember that a graduation or successfully completing a qualification isn't just a routine event. It's a celebration of hard work, dedication, and discipline. So take some time to reflect on what you have accomplished and then get to work. Please keep in touch and keep us up to date with your progress by connecting to our alumni network on the university's website. I wish you all the very best. Today we celebrate your achievements in the program and project of AIMS as an inter-university platform that nurtures talent in mathematics. You've completed your studies under very challenging circumstances. On behalf of the science faculty at the University of Cape Town, I join your parents and the teaching staff at AIMS in celebrating your success. I wish you well in your future careers, and I look forward to your contribution to society. Congratulations.
is Kiapua Nyama. I'm from Zambia. In my undergraduate, I did a Bachelor of Science in Pure and Applied Mathematics from the Copa Belt University. And I was in the 2020 August Intake at Ames. I recently graduated. And um, Ames was a home, away from home. It was a safe place and it was a place where you can be yourself and just express yourself freely. And my stay at Ames has had its own ups and downs, but I got exposed to different African cultures. I learned a couple of African languages and I made some new friends at Ames. And um, my experience at Ames in terms of learning was amazing because I got exposed to different mathematical courses and I found new mathematical interests. My mathematical skills and my computer skills have been advanced and I learned a great deal. I learned a lot of transferable skills that I can take in industry and also continue with in academia. And uh, one of the highlights of my stay at Ames was the research phase because that was a phase where I learned to work independently. I had my own topic and I would work on it and just put in my level best. I was satisfied with how I worked on my essay and how I defended it. So it was one of the interesting phases for me. It was challenging and interesting at the same time, but it really made me, uh, it really advanced my research skills and I've not been the same ever since. So my word out there to people out there, I would encourage you to just believe in yourself and believe that you can make a difference in everything that you do. Thank you.